Tina has a piece of a sweater in her hair. No, I'm serious. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, okay somewhere oh on this side. This is, this is a photo shoot. Sorry. You, you are directing. She's done now. She looks fabulous. Tom, when you left fashion, you knew you wanted to make a movie. And you looked and you looked before you came to, to this one, A Single Man. What was it about this book by Isherwood that made you think, I have the movie I want? It was intuition. You know, I knew what I stood for as a fashion designer. But when you set out to make a film, you have to think, why? Who needs to see a Tom Ford film? Who cares? What is that? And I wanted to make something that really meant something to me. I read this Christopher Isherwood book when I was 20 years old. I was living in Los Angeles. I was a young actor. It spoke to me because it's such a beautifully drawn character story. Fast forward to the future. Uh, a few years ago, three and a half years ago. I'd optioned a couple of books. I was developing a couple of projects uh, for my first film. Nothing was really speaking to me. Driving to the office one day, I realized I was thinking about George, who is the hero of the novel and the hero of our film. And I thought, you know, I should pick this book up again. Picking it up from my mid-40s and now my late 40s was an entirely different book. It is a book that I think would appeal to a lot of people who are having a midlife crisis uh, or a change of life. It is a story of a man who cannot see his future. And I just had a feeling. I thought, you know, this, this is the book. Now, was it important to you to find a story that had a gay hero? Not at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, the fact that George is gay uh, wasn't key to the story at all. What was important to me was that this is a universal tale of isolation uh, that I think we all feel and of understanding that the important things in life are connection with other people. Did you face skepticism though when you began to set this movie up? Because after all, you know, you have this incredible visual sense, this incredible sense of the culture, the incredible commercial sense, but you hadn't ever directed a movie. So uh, was this I, a big problem for you? I have a feeling you and I are not people who ever listen to other people when they tell <laughs> them they can't do something. Um, because we're the kind of people who when we get something in our heads or we visualize, I believe that if you can visualize something, you can make it happen. And if you work hard, uh, you know, you can make it happen. So. You know, I'm not going to say I didn't doubt myself, and I'm not going to say I didn't go through a lot of worrying and thinking about doing, right, is this right, is that right? Of course, we beat ourselves up, you know, people who, who uh, like to be perfect. But no one was ever skeptical to my face. It's funny, <laughs> now that the film is finished, everyone asks this question. And people say to me, you know, how does it feel to have made a movie when everyone was laughing at you behind your back. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, because no one ever did it to sure. my face.